When you have completed the preparation and equipping of your fallout room, you should next take precautions to safeguard the rest of your house. You should be prepared to deal with the worst effects of heat and blast, in particular, the menace of fire. Fire is the most immediate danger after a nuclear attack. Though the heat will not set light to the bricks or plaster of your house, it will strike through unprotected windows and set any inflammable material on fire. Whitewash the windows, especially those at the top of the building. This will greatly reduce the fire risk by reflecting away much of the heat. And the heat should have passed by the time the slower moving blast wave arrives. There are other things you can do to reduce the fire risk. You should remove all inflammable material from upper floors, which are the most exposed to the heat wave. Clear away all newspapers, magazines, and wooden furniture, so as to leave as little as possible that could start fires. You should also remove any boxes and inflammable material near the outside of the house. If you have a garden syringe or a stirrup pump, this should be kept close to your fallout room. Fires can be put out quite easily if tackled at once, while they're still small. But they spread rapidly and can soon get out of control. Keep buckets of water on each floor of your house. Remember, fires can be extinguished just as well with dirty water as with your valuable drinking water. To minimize the danger from flying glass, you should draw your curtains and lower your blinds. After an attack, it may be necessary to move you and your family to a safer area. To provide for this emergency, you should have a suitcase ready packed. You should include a change of clothes, personal valuables, eating and drinking utensils, and a blanket. Take an overcoat or Macintosh in case of rain. You must remember you will only be able to take what you and your family can carry. Finally, a point for all car owners. Always keep your car topped up with petrol so that if you are instructed to move to a safer area, you will be ready to leave at any time. But until you are told, you will not know where it is safe to go. These are all necessary precautions as there will be no time for preparation once an attack starts. By taking these steps, you can increase the safety of your home and of your family.